What's up everybody, how you doing today? For those of you who are like me and are kind of struggling to remember what day of the week it is at this point because everything is canceled, today is Friday. So, happy Friday. More than just any Friday though, today is Good Friday, the Friday before Easter and the day that the church takes to remember Jesus' betrayal and crucifixion. Now, if you're wondering why it is that we call a day dedicated to remembering pain and death and betrayal good, you're not alone. But if we look at it with the full context of Easter and the beginning of the church that follow almost immediately after Good Friday and the necessity for Good Friday to happen for those things to happen, we see that while this is a painful and sorrowful day, this is in fact a good day. But I want to look at a different Good Friday. I want to look at the first Good Friday and I want to take a little bit different perspective on it. Only one man on earth at that time knew what was going to happen. He knew the end of the story. And that's Jesus. Jesus knew everything that was about to happen. He knew all the pain he was going to go through. He knew better than anyone, even the people that were trying to kill him, he knew better than them that he was going to die that afternoon. And we see that best in his prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. The Gospel of Luke records this in chapter 22, verses 39 through 44. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Sweating blood may sound extreme, because it is, but it's not unheard of. And most of the time when it happens, it's because of extreme anxiety or stress or anguish. And looking at the next day, day that Jesus was going to live, it's not hard to understand why he was feeling that way. Within the next day, he was going to experience all of his friends and followers abandon him. He was going to have one of them lead a group of guards there to arrest him. He was going to stand in trial as people who knew who he was and what he was doing lied about it to a court. He was going to stand in front of a Roman official as he, the official tried to release him but watch a crowd scream for him to be crucified and a murderer be released instead. He was going to walk down the street as people hurled insults carrying a giant wooden beam. He was going to feel every hammer strike as they put nails through his hands and his feet. And he was going to feel every agonizing breath as he pushed himself up to breathe on that cross. And that's exactly what he did. At any point during that day, he could have said, no, that's enough. He could have had an army of angels at his side in an instant and had them fight off anyone who would bring him harm. But he didn't. He watched humanity at its worst, at its most bloodthirsty, at its most treacherous, at its absolute worst, and he said, no, they're still worth it. And Jesus didn't say this because of anything that we've ever done, anything that we're doing now, or anything that we will ever be able to do. He said this because he loves us, despite of what we've done, despite of what we're doing now, and despite of anything we will ever do against him or anyone else. No matter how much wrong you've done, no matter how unworthy it is you feel, because of Jesus and because of his love for you, you are worth it. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you that no matter how far down we go, no matter how awful we become, you still say that we're worth it because you love us and only because you love us. Thank you that we don't have to earn it. Thank you that we don't have to make ourselves worthy of your love because you already love us. Help us to remember that in these days and help us to continue to celebrate who you are as we continue through this time. Amen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, turn notifications on, and we'll see you in the next one.